tell us, is this within uh, uh, market expectations? This is actually a little bit higher when I spoke than uh, what my sources expected yesterday. They thought the stock would trade at around a $25 billion valuation. To your point, the stock opened at a valuation of about $29.5 billion. So again, this raises questions for me. Uh, what is the supply? My colleague Lucas Shaw spoke earlier to an early investor. You can see that on the top live blog on the terminal right now, who said, look, a lot of the early shareholders didn't want to sell. Folks have been telling the advisors they don't want to let go of the stock. So so that could uh, create some kind of a, a liquidity uh, squeeze running the share price up. The big thing for Spotify, though, that I was told is that from this open price of 165.90 to whatever it closes at, they don't want to see a lot of fluctuations. They want a modest level of stock swings. They know it's going to sw swing a little bit, but they don't want a lot of volatility. And importantly, they don't want that stock pop that you see in typical IPOs in this direct listing trading. So to take Taylor's point will be definitely watching volatility today, and I'm sure the rest of the investor community will as well, existing shareholders, as well as folks who might want to get into these shares. Alex, you talk about supply. Uh, what about the volume of the trading level? Were there expectations about how much would be traded? Because that might be one indication of how much supply there is, but also could drive volatility one way or the other. They were, and David, that's a key point. When you look at a typical IPO, 50 to 100% of the float tends to trade on day one. Spotify is very different. As much as 90% of, ex of its existing shares could potentially trade because there is no lockup. My sources did tell me they still do want to see that 50 to 100% in volume changing hands. As of uh, before this listing, they had about 178 million outstanding shares. So we'll be looking looking for a half to 100 percent of those outstanding shares to potentially trade hands in terms of the tradable float. If you get more than that, again, this could be an indication that there's a lot of fast money coming, moving in and out of the shares, or a lot of retail investors, which, again, if you think about the end goal here, to get a stock that's trading efficiently, that looks like it's been traded for a while, if you have a lot of money moving very quickly in and out, that could lead to some of the volatility that the company does not want to see in its early days as a public company. Alex, but we keep talking about not wanting volatility, but this is really an awful time not to want that. I mean, we just saw the tech route. It is, and, and the caveat that I've heard from folks is, well, a lot of the tech stocks that have fallen off have very specific reasons. You have Trump tweeting about Amazon. You have Tesla's Model 3 issues. These are tech-specific, and even with the broader sell-off, the first few days for Spotify will tend to be driven by uh, the more of the trading dynamics, the demand for the shares, the supply of folks selling the shares, because it's such a unique event. I will be checking in on this a week from now, a month from now, to see if that continues, and if this does start moving in line with the broader tech indices because volatility, as we know, is the bane of the existence of newly traded shares. But this first day, today on day one of trading, I don't think that the macro volatility will be as much on the mind of folks who are trying to get into this stock.